Nothing is one of the quickest ways to destroy a lot of rubber bands, I'll tell you that. Someone suggested I should make rubber band tires. And that's why I'm at Office Max. Got a whole pound of rubbers for only like eight bucks. You get like, I don't know, this is like hundreds of rubber bands. So hopefully this should be enough to go on the tires and we'll see how it's gonna do. Beautiful day to put some rubbers on there. To test if the rubber bands are gonna actually do something to the grip of the tires, first we gotta test the tires capabilities as they are. So I'm gonna set up some cones. Right now it's time to spend the next hour of my life throwing rubber bands on this go-kart. Well, I thought having my tires deflated would help put these on. But as you can see, the rubber bands are squeezing it so much they're causing like channels where the tire dips down and then all the bands go into it. So I'm gonna need to air it back up some, just a little to get these bands on there so it doesn't keep dispersing like that. Bro, there's so much work putting rubber bands on these tires, bro. I still got so much more to go. By the way, I wouldn't recommend doing it. It's literally like peeling the skin back on my thumb from opening up so many rubber bands. It's bad. Oh man, after many broken rubber bands and a lot of hours later, finally got both tires covered in a thick layer of a lot of rubber bands now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be sick. shredded them like right away bro oh man i thought we were gonna be able to do some like traction tests and like swerve it but i guess not so a little change in plans um i guess obviously as you can see they just fly off immediately so clearly they're not actually better for any traction or anything but what we can do is we can throw a few more on there and just like send it again these definitely aren't better for performance but they do make one hell of a shot hey one stayed on one rubber band. One rubber band. Hey, yo. <laughs> All right, so we put the second pair of rubber bands on there, and I've learned from the first time that I'm going to take it a little bit slower because these things basically, like, shred off instantly. So I'm going to see if I can drive around for a little bit. Dang, one already just popped off. And then I'm just going to absolutely full send it, and it's just going to, whew. Hopefully it's cool. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this is the rest of the rubber bands. I'm glad I didn't put all of them on in the first place or they would all be gone. Now at least we got like two takes 
Because we didn't really get much in the first take, but we're going to try and get more. See how they look. <laughs> Peeling off, I know. Look at that. They're already peeling. Dude, we're gonna have a huge mess to clean up, bro. <laughs> it sent them everywhere around here. Rubber bands don't stand also, a chance against this go kart, bro. Also, bro, dude, I was driving it, bro, and they were flinging up and like slapping me. I know you probably can't see it, but I felt it. It hurt. It was like coming around and it was like slapping me on the arm. I was like, oh man, I gotta get rid of them. Yeah. Dude, these things just break so quick. But, um, I mean, yeah. Oh man, I guess we have to clean all this up now. Draw all this. They go pretty quick though. I mean, I honestly, I would have thought they would have lasted longer, but you know, it is what it is. That's what you learn. I'm about to add a little bit of the power sauce to the go kart and uh, run these things over real quick. Woo! That's that high, uh, high octane stuff right there. Hopefully I got a good good hit on him one time at least. I sprayed him a bit. It was hard for it to kick up, you know, it grips really well on the rubber bands. Like you'd go over it, and I think just because it's rubber, yeah, like that, it kind of just, it, I mean, obviously it loose, loses some grip, but it still would grip like decent, so. But it slung him a bit. To say, no wonder my tires pick up so many rocks, bro. I sleep for a few seconds to collect all my rubber bands. And it's just full of rocks. It's terrible. Gotta do this to the whole neighborhood, you know? And I'll be able to ride my go-kart in peace without being pelted 24 seven. Well, I learned one of the quickest ways to break a bunch of rubber bands. They're all toast. Ooh. Now my dad said he would drive the go-kart now. This is his first time driving it, so. Hopefully he doesn't crash, you know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Thing is loud. And he's gone. I can hear him out there. There he is. I know, right? Bro, you it turns so, so quick. The ground, man. It turns so quick, too. It's like... Oh, my gosh. This is way more fun than the other one. Man. Like, if you try doing some left-right turns, you're like... Oh, uh, uh, like, you feel it yanking you out the seat. The well, I forgot I had the old piston for my uh, exploded engine around. I was like, I'm, this will make a cool decoration once I clean it up. I'm going to throw it in my room. And uh, it's going to look cool. All exploded and stuff. Because it, uh, it decided to make out with my valve. They had a good time. There we go. Nice little uh, trophy up there of what happened. A little valve right there sticking right through the piston. And I put some other springs up there and another gear. Uh, please, please like if you enjoyed it and subscribe and um, comment if you have any more ideas. This video actually came from a comment that was left on one of my previous videos that we should put rubber bands on the tires. So if you have any good ideas, uh, comment them down below and um, I'll be sure to try it if it's like 
within reason, you know. Obviously, I, there's some things I can't do, like put a nuclear reactor on the go-kart, but you know, I'll try, so.